This week I am teaching myself bobbin lace and I was going to film it because it might be fun to see uh, some progress or some non-progress or whatever. I think I said something about this in my last video that I am having a problem with uh, a rig to film straight down on my table while working on something because that feels like something I should I should have a rig for that. Uh, and I was, I've been thinking about so many ways to do that, and, um, and then I was rigging some sound equipment last week at the choir that I'm conducting, and, uh, I realized that microphone stands are, might be rather perfect for that. Maybe. Might be. Uh, so I... Uh, we have way too many of those. Uh, and they are... Some of them are just way too old to actually use as well. So I... Uh, basically stole two. And uh, decided to uh, see if I can make something out of them. <laughs> so... Uh, before I can start filming uh, my attempts or failed attempts or whatever on uh, bobbin lace, I have to make a uh, camera stand out of a microphone stand and we'll see how this works. <laughs> I have a tripod and, you know, uh, I do have a technique for uh, putting the tripod up. Uh, so that I can film directly down on my table, but um, I'm having some problems with that uh, mainly that to make it work uh, so that I can actually Work comfortably at the same time. Uh, I need to have the table basically in the middle of the room so that I have at least two or three meters of free space uh, You know straight ahead of me table and well that's at my current setup that just it's not gonna happen so that's why I have to make something uh, I could put the tripod up behind me but that would that's just way too crowded and I end up hitting the tripod and moving the camera way more than I want to and I was thinking that uh, a microphone stand might take less space and thus be easier to work with. I don't know. Okay, so moment of truth. This is something made out of something else if I ever saw it, but as far as I can tell, it stands up, which is important. <laughs> and then I can flip it down and show you my 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 floor it's uh not exact right but I can go like this Now you can see my floor and my white and dirty socks. Let's take it over to the table and see if I can actually mount this thing where I want it to be. Um, it's kind of fun making stuff when you don't have the actual correct equipment. Um, but it's also a little scary and it feels very at the moment this feels this feels feel very sturdy right now like this doesn't feel too sturdy I can do this but as long as it doesn't as long as it doesn't fall over while I'm working and it stays as crooked as it is, it will work just fine. Now, maybe I can show you some of my adventures in 
trying to teach myself bobbin lace and the reason I want to learn how to make bobbin lace is because well that why wouldn't I honestly if I could make lace to fit on the top of my corset it would be so cool I could say that I made even more of it than I actually have or you know you know what I mean so here's what I've been using as a pillow Unless I'm, I know that I'll be good at something, or if I'll keep doing it, or such. I will always make do with just some cheap-ass solutions until I know that it's something I want to keep doing. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, what that is all about, but it's what I do. So, instead of like going out and making... A fancy pillow or some, or some sort. I'm just using this. Uh, it's one of those foam uh, mats that you put together like a jigsaw puzzle and keep on floor of your child's bedroom. And my son has a grown it, and so here I am. Uh, I'm also using instead of actual bobbins, although I bought some bobbins today on Etsy. It hasn't arrived yet since it was today. I'm just using these clothes, clothes bags. And, uh, I have been making something. This is the something that I made yesterday. Uh, and you can see how I actually kind of got the hang of it down here and started to like I, I can the fun thing is that you can see the progress I like that so I have right now I have wound, wound up one two four six eight I have eight bobbins the clothes bins and I'm just going to tie a knot up here because I, I guess it would be look better if you wound them, you know, so that it was one continuous thread, but I haven't. And also, I, uh, I know that this isn't ideal either, but kind of kind of thinking about how great it will be once I got get an actual set of bobbins and an actual pillow and stuff how it will be awesome to get like correct tools for the job uh, and I'm thinking that you know if I like doing this using clothes bags and foam thing uh, it'll, uh, it'll be you know if I, I get good at it with this then when I get the good materials and the good tools I'll be uh, it'll be better so I will film like a little bit every day out of my experiment here and uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is four. I have no idea how this is done.
to recap this was my first attempt the other day and what I like about uh, having my test drives like this is that you can see the progress and I I really like that like you can see <laughs> and then getting a bit more confident in this and you can see why or what happened here I know what happened and that's it gives me some confidence that I can actually do this you know uh, so this was the other day and this was last day um this was yesterday that's the right way um and yesterday I tried out different sizes different spacing between the between the pins and that was kind of rewarding to see like the spacing here is this is too wide wide spacing and this is kind of nice I mean I was using the grid pattern uh, while working on this around here I decided to stop using the grid and also I ran out of paper um, at this moment um, and I think I like this spacing way better than this of course but this is also an interesting thing to have done and it's also a bit the spaces are a bit it's a bit wider than this and uh, I like that as well I mean and I like looking at things that I made that wasn't I mean I will probably throw these away when I'm when I'm better at this um, so yesterday I was working with how many bobbins? <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten um, bobbins uh, and the things that I decided that I need is I need to add at least one pair and uh, I need to try to add <laughs> try to make this that is my this is my pillow and uh, I need to get this to stay on the table in a better way and I I don't really know what I'm going to use for that and I'm thinking but right now I'm thinking tape again <laughs> I, uh, I have this I mean, I know this will probably not work, but like, you never know it until you tried it. And I don't, I just really need it to stay like more, more still than it has done. So I'll just see if taping it down. Oh, maybe I should look at the framing first. Oh, it works. That works. and I bought some bobbins because uh, these clothes pins are I don't know I'm getting better at 
at actually picking them up and doing the pressure thing and everything. I mean, you need to... Uh, the tension on this needs to be kind of exact for it to work. And it feels like my... Uh, my tension would be better if I, if it was easier to pick these up. Um, but so far so good and I mean I still stand by my initial uh, my initial what's it called what I said initially that uh, skill is formed by lack and that I believe that if I can do this using clothespins that are less than optimal uh, I will get better at it when I am using actual tools. So. What I kind of like about this is that the tension, like look at, I don't know if you can see it, but right over here, because I'm holding this, then this cross right there feels wrong. But as soon as I put tension on this, so I like how it's kind of like I was saying to my friend yesterday that it feels like, you know, those friendship bracelets that you tie, they are a series of knots basically, with colors, I might find a picture somewhere. I have made a lot of those at summer camps. Uh, when I'm a counselor at summer camp, um, I have made a lot of those and taught that. Um, taught kids how to do that. And, um, well, the tension here feels a bit like doing tension on those, just more complicated. Um, more threads that are, um, more threads that are uh, affected when you tighten, so. I mean, like, I tighten this, and then to get all the knots behaving nicely, I have to tighten these as well. I really like that. I mean, it's kind of complicated as well, but I really like it. Yeah, so this grid I like. This I like. A lot. And it's not hard to make. It's just the same old stitch and then an extra switch on both sides. And it just comes together. The right tension, of course. This is going to be such a weird video. I mean, as I get better, better at this, I will probably be able to make really even reds. But I mean, I am a very good knitter, so evenness is. Just one of those things, I guess. I also kind of find that doing the stitches, the actual crossing and the twists, twists, um, it's kind, it's kind of easier when. When it's not, when I do it fast, it feels like it, it's easier because like with a lot of things, once you internalize the way that it's done, it just kind of happens. 
or this that's how it is with me and knitting you know the reason why i can watch tv and knit at the same time it's because it's just one of those a friend of mine calls it an idiot task you know something that you can do with your hands without thinking about it and um and it'll kind of make the way you, you know i can watch tv while while doing it and you won't lose concentration on whatever it is you're watching and i mean i have knitted in so many lectures when i was in college it's it's crazy <laughs> Okay, so what is this? This is day five. And um, so this I did yesterday because when you've gotten like a fair bit of... When you've gotten a long piece of lace, it's hard to uh, keep, keep on going <laughs> when you get outside of this piece of foam. Uh, but this is uh, what I did yesterday together with this and um, yeah so this is day five um, and yesterday I started doing just, just something to see if I can just teach myself to do some ground that's what this is called apparently that will look something like that if you do it right this is machine made bobbin lace. By the way, something I bought. It's probably a lot of nylon in this because it doesn't feel cottony. Um, what you're hearing in the background probably is our piano being tuned, which is why I'm not going to talk much today because you don't want to listen to that. Um, just let's listen for a little while. So yeah, you don't want to listen to that. So I will just be doing this and put some music over it today. Um, not talk too much actually, but I'm trying. I'm going to try to make a spider, and I realize that these probably make it a tiny bit harder to see what I'm doing. But the idea of this, um, the idea of this video is not to actually show you what I'm doing because I am by no means, means an expert. I am a novice if there ever was one. Um, I found this technique yesterday and I really like this if you want to make a um, a squared off type of lace. I like the ones that are more diagonal but if I need a uh, squared horizontal vertical squared type thing this is my go-to this will be my go-to I really like it um, so yeah let's do some more ground and maybe a spider and uh, we'll see how this goes <laughs> um, yeah and I'm it, I've really realized why clothes pegs and stuff aren't the ideal tools for this because they take up so much more space than it seems like you know those bobbins uh, that you see use they are m much thinner um, which I guess makes them it gets uh, it takes up less space and thus you can have more of them without it feeling too crowded so yeah that's my take on that let me just have some tea Okay, so let's let's make more stuff. I need to figure out a spider. So my this is the hole that I want to fill around this point. And 
a spider goes like this. Kinda. So that's it. Five days of teach myself a little bit of bobbin lacing. And I gotta admit, this is fun. And um, I went on Etsy and I bought myself some uh, bobbins because I just realized that I like doing this and I could spare those money. Uh, those dollars. How much did I pay? They weren't expensive. They were uh, transferring to dollars in my head. 
Well, I, I used uh, 200 Norwegian kroners, which is, hang on, I'll check. Okay, in U USD, about $22 American dollars. Anyways, today I made uh, most this piece of lace and it's starting to get more sophisticated looking if the, my camera would focus on the lace and not on me or the corset in the background. There you are. Um, I made three spiders today. And the first one is, I wouldn't say it's a mess, but it's not good looking and something weird happened. There is, yeah, something weird happened. <laughs> That's just it. It's um, something it, strange happened on the first spider. And then the second spider, let's see if I can get my cameras to focus on that. Come on. There we go. That's better, but something else weird happened uh it's almost the same as on the top just less of it and then the third spider is well it is it's correct all the threads go where they're supposed to go and stuff but uh i think that there is just a tiny bit wrong with the tension on this one, which makes it not as uh, cool looking as I wanted it to, especially like this space should be this uh, this space should be the same as this space, so that it would would look more more like a spider, <laughs> I guess. Um, and also, I I mean, it's not that much different from this ground to this round that I made yesterday um, except from that the ground that I made today is, is tilted and I mean uh, I guess this ground I need to find I need to find some sort of graph paper that are that's more than five millimeter and less than a centimeter <laughs> uh so i guess like 7.5 millimeters would suffice uh because when i used the the squares when i used two squares instead of one this happened and i think that is too big if you could get my drift too big um, but I'm getting better at this and that's fun uh, and my goal is to be able to make a uh, lace to go on the top of my um, of my corset the one that whose um, mock-up we have in the background um, And um, and because I want to be able to uh, weave a uh, ribbon through those through that lace on top of the corset, you know, because I like that in the book. Um, check my last video. No idea what I'm talking about. Um, oh, it's not August anymore. Let's. Uh, it's September. It has been for some for a few days now. Let's do the thing. Get this. This calendar is just weird. It's the um, Project for Awesome calendar for uh, from last year, and it has someone has photoshopped John and Hank Green's faces on different animals for every month and it the result is just sometimes it's just funny and other times it's just plain scary <laughs> uh, but sometimes they look kind of cute so uh, it's all fun and games um, I was going to say something more what's that? 
I thought I was. I like my new camera stand. Uh, I need. I still need to get some sturdier tape uh, here, but it's it has uh, worked so far, and I think that's fun. Um, you know, because it didn't cost me any money. Honestly, I got the microphone stand for free from my choir because we have way more than we'll ever need. Uh, and also, these old ones are not as good as the new ones that we have. And also, the selfie stick that I used, I have had for four years or something. And I haven't used it in basically the same amount of time. Um, so, was that all? I think so. I will keep on. Uh, practicing my bomb and lace and um, but I need a tiny bit of a break right now so that's that um, I'll see you next time if you like this video you could give it give it a thumbs up I'm doing the thing I hate doing the thing I'm doing it anyway and if you want to see more videos you could subscribe and stuff so uh, yeah that's it that's it for me See you later.